Hey, this is Daniel from Radorama. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada on the Strip, and I'm making some portraits of Aurora here. So what we decided to do was come out here as the sun was setting and all the lights were coming up on the Strip, and we wanted to make kind of a really fun shot. So in order to get the cars going by and, and all the lights going on, I needed to do a relatively long exposure. I'm actually doing a two second exposure at F16 with 100 ISO. So obviously if I do that, uh, my subject's gonna be quite blurry. So what I do is I'm doing what's called a pop and blur. I have a flash that's gonna freeze my subject and then the rest of the exposure is followed up with my shutter speed, right? My long shutter speed. So I've got a Profoto B2 over here. I'm using the controller here, it's in TTL. I'm also using what's called rear curtain sync. That means that my flash fires at the end of my exposure. That's important because if it fired at the beginning of the exposure and then she continued to expose after, she wouldn't be nearly as sharp. So this gives me a way to hold uh, the, the sharpness of my subject while having a long exposure and flash. So now of course we're on a bridge here and they have this glass up here for safety and you might think that could be a problem and it was at first getting our flash angled right. So if you actually look at the angle of the flash, it's almost actually facing me. What I did was I put my live view on in the modeling light and I just turned the flash until I didn't see it reflecting anymore in the glass. That's how I know that my flash is not going to reflect, reflect back onto me. Obviously I couldn't have a flash on top of the camera, that'd be a problem. But at this angle, you can't see it. So one thing that's cool about here, and you can think about when you're in an environment like this, is there's lots of lights going on, and where you put your model is gonna affect some of the ambient light touching her as well. So I'm, I'm playing with the light coming from this LED screen over here to get some shots that are much more contrasty and some that are much more airy. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time on set.